Hey there, thanks for joining me. Real quick insight on the discussions we've had lately with the DJI Phantom 4 batteries and the reset point that's on the motherboard. Um, I'll show you what I've learned so far and see if maybe it'll help you with some of your batteries. All right, so some quick information on what I've learned so far with the DJI Phantom 4 batteries. Um, I've kind of learned this through experimenting with the Altel X-Star batteries that the Altel, Altel X-Star batteries will lose power, but you can still charge them up. Um, they don't brick themselves if everybody says with the Phantom 4 batteries. Um, something in the motherboard here sometimes can prevent them from recharging. Um, it's all started because I bought a used Phantom 4 and had a you know one battery that's doing the single light flashing the other one was perfectly fine so i'm trying to figure out why this battery won't charge again kind of working through my history with the phantom 4 the ultra extra batteries um what i did actually is on this i drilled a couple holes in the bottom and figured out where the power points were the main connection points to the battery i did that off watching the youtube video um showed me the board itself without the cover on it so i knew where the where to go which if you line that up and regards to the bottom that's where this or um so the other issue i ran into is that so i'm playing with these trying to figure them out i went back and talked to the gentleman i got the initial battery from this one and this one did the single light same response um i'll take the cover off because i took this one off it's hard to get back on so it does the single light same thing then i went back and he had another one that completely was non-responsive so that's where I, this video is kind of coming from on that one is so, with the non-responsive battery, again, you're pushing the button on it, you're getting no response. You, know, you push the button, no lights light up, push the button, no lights light up. So, what I did then was, um, since this one was out, out of the case, is I went ahead and grabbed my voltmeter. I'm like, let's check the power on it. So, between the positive and the negative, I think 17.9 volts. Now, when I checked it, Initially, it was 15 volts, so I'm like, it had a pretty good charge on it, if not almost, a, I'd say, a full charge, but 17 being the full. So it had power on the battery itself. It just it wasn't registering this when you put it on the charger. The light, the button wasn't registering anything. So, so what I did for this is that the... Let's see how this focuses here. So if you notice on the board, there's lots of little components on here. But if you also notice, there's lots of contact points that have information on it. And it's a little fuzzy here, kind of zooming in. But So if you wanted to check your individual cells on the board, there's a power. And then cells 3, 2, 1. There's another ground over here. Um, so you can actually check individual cells off the board here. Um, and then over on this other side, the left side here, if you look, there's actually... Um, a test button or a test contact a reset contact rst and the ground so what i did for this one is i actually took an alligator clip from the ground and then i used a, a screwdriver to actually touch the reset contact point so reset the ground to reset and then actually the lights came on and it registered the battery pack and put on the charger to let it sit and charge a little bit um and it was responsive so it came back and i don't know what necessarily would have tripped that because again it had a full almost i would say full charge it had 15 volts on the pack so so to do this again make sure that you know your black is your ground your red is your your hot your positive now again you look up here it says on here it says bat plus and then bat negative at the bottom so bat negative is our ground negative so carefully clip that on there and then let's see if i can I'll do this a couple of times. Let me do, let's see, let's try to zoom in a little bit more. It's a little grainy. So we're on negative there, and again, I apologize, it's a little grainy, but so we're going to go from the ground here to the reset contact, and we're going to hold that for a few seconds. And then the lights will flash on the board down here, which you can't see. If you, now you can see they're kind of glowing. So the battery turned on. Again, I'll show you that in a second here. So this was actually a good one that I charged up. The, again, the other one's flashing. So again, if we do... Try to shield with the lighter. So if we do the same thing, I'll show you with the, you can see the lights reset. So we'll put 
the ground to the reset button, hold for a few seconds. You can see the lights flash on the board there, so then it reset it, so now it's it's resetting itself and looking at it. Again, so this one, it had two or three lights, I think, that LEDs that came on, but then I went ahead and charged it. And it charged up fine, it functions fine, put it in the drone. Um, it works. But what I had to do is I had to take the old the case off the other battery with the single light that's not working. And put that cell, that pack, in the case to put it in the drone. And obviously you have to be able to get it in there. But with the cases, um, these ones are more difficult to get off. We'll kind of talk real quick about this. You can get a screwdriver between here to kind of lift up and get these uh, little pins out of these slots. The problem with these ones, if they do not have the screw here, they're actually glued. So there's a drop of glue on each one of these, which the fourth one broke off. So you can kind of see that there, it broke off. Um, I mean, the top's okay. Again, I wasn't really being really careful trying to get it off. I just, again, I was trying to work with it to see what was inside. So once that comes off, um, you can work getting the case off. And then it's got that on top. So with the board here, um, again, you can kind of work it out gently if it's sticking. Now there's a ribbon cable that comes up here into one of these things. You like push the lever up let's say and then this cable slides in and out of the slot then you push the tab down and it locks it in um i think the one when i originally did it it was loose so i repositioned it in the slot and it works better now so that's the bottom of the battery again um again you may have to take these apart to do the reset now the other option is like i was showing you or maybe i didn't show on this video well they did put a couple holes in the bottom of this pack because it was supposedly a brand new battery to get to my positive and my negative to check the power that's inside the battery. I did not want to crack open the case, but um, later on I decided to crack the case or open the case up. So again, if you look, you know, if you drilled a couple holes, if you drilled the two that I just showed and like one more over here, you could shine a flashlight in there and see the reset. And you could do that without actually opening the case. So that may be a way to do it. Um, you know, if I did it again, that's what I would do is I would drill a third hole. So you'd have your positive, your negative, and then one more hole, which is somewhere in line here. Although this is also where the clip's at. So um, that may be a little more difficult, but it's an option versus opening the entire battery up. Now, the other thing, other possible is you could open the battery, but leave the top on and then just kind of, you know, clamshell, pry them apart a little bit enough to get in there to, to get to the contacts uh, kind of your decision, your choice if you want to work with the battery. So again, just use caution when you try it. If you do want to work this way and reset the battery, I um, hope it'll help you out. I have played a little with the battery with it. I haven't flown it yet, uh, but again, it's still holding the charge. Which one I think it was this one. That, it's still holding the charge from a couple weeks ago when I charged it. So you know, again, this one still kind of trying to figure out, but Again, hopefully that helps you get, helps some of you folks figure this out. Um, again, just be use caution if you open the batteries up. Well, thanks for joining me. I hope this gave you some insight about the DJI Phantom 4 batteries, kind of what's inside and maybe how to reset your battery to help you uh, get some more use out of it. Again, thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time.